नमस्कार दोस्तों मैं शिवानंद उपाध्याय आपका स्वागत करता हूं हमारे YouTube चैनल केमिस्ट्री अकेडमी फॉर आई टी जेई एंड नीट आज मैं जेई एडवांस 2018 पेपर की एक प्रॉब्लम डिस्कस करने जा रहा हूं जो कि एक मल्टी कॉन्सेप्ट प्रॉब्लम है दिस प्रॉब्लम इज बेस्ड ऑन साइकिल प्रोसेस दिस इज अ मल्टी कॉन्सेप्ट प्रॉब्लम बेस्ड ऑन द फॉलोइंग कॉन्सेप्ट फर्स्ट कॉन्सेप्ट इज इंटरनल एनर्जी एंड इंथेलपी आर स्टेट वेरिएबल द सेकेंड इज रिलेशन बिटवीन इंटरनल एनर्जी एंड इंथेलपी एंड द थर्ड वन इज द आइडियल गैस पार्टिसिपेटिंग इन एनी प्रोसेस we can use change in internal energy is equal to ncv delta t and change in enthalpy is equal to ncp delta t the fourth one is for an isochoric process using first law of thermodynamics we can prove that qv is equal to delta u and the fifth one for an isobaric process qp is equal to delta h so let us first read the problem so the problem is a reversible cyclic process for an ideal gas is shown below here p v and t are pressure volume and temperature respectively the thermodynamic parameters q w h and u are heat work enthalpy and internal energy respectively so the diagram is given the correct options is r the first option is heat energy exchange in process a to c is equal to change in internal energy in process b to c and work done in process a to b is equal to p2 into v2 minus v1 and so on so let us solve one by one the a option is q in process ac is equal to delta u in process bc and work done in process a to b is equal to p2 into v2 minus v1 so there are two parts in this question we are starting with the first half uh, about change in internal energy in process bc and q in process ac so we'll start with change in internal energy because we know that internal energy is a state variable so we are moving from b to c so on this graph we are saying that we are moving from b to c so suppose this is path 1 so the change in internal energy in process b to c since internal energy is a state variable i can move from b to c by using this path 1 or i can move from a to b and then i will move from a to c this can be path 2 so the change in internal energy in path bc is equal to change in internal energy in path b to a plus change in internal energy in path a to c change in internal energy in path b to a b to a is isothermal process so for any process if an ideal gas is participating in any process the change in internal energy is always ncv delta t since b a path is isothermal so delta t will be zero so change in internal energy in path b a is equal to zero so from here we can write that change in internal energy in path b c is equal to change in internal energy in path a to c and a to c is an isochoric process for isochoric process using first law of thermodynamics we can say work done is zero so change in internal energy is equal to q so delta u in process a to c is equal to q in process a to c so the first part of uh, a option seems to be correct because q in process a to c is equal to delta u in process b to c so the first half is correct now let us solve the second half they are discussing uh, the work done in process a to b so here we are moving from a to b we are moving from a to b in this direction and this is an isothermal process for an isothermal reversible process we know that work done is equal to minus nrt ln v final upon v initial so in this process we are moving from uh, v a to v b so final volume is v2 and initial volume is v1 and temperature during the process is t1 so we can write here that the work done in process a to b is equal to nrt1 ln v2 upon v1 v2 upon v1 which is not matching with the given option in the given option they are saying that work done in process a to b is equal to minus or p2 into v2 minus v1 and this will be possible when the process is uh, isobaric right so it is valid for isobaric process where pressure is constant so the second option is wrong so we can say that a option is incorrect option because the first half of the option is correct but the second half of the option is incorrect right so a option is incorrect same way we are going to discuss the second part in the second part also they are discussing about the work done in process b c so in this graph we can see here that we are moving from b position to c position 
we have to calculate what is the work done in process B to C. In volume versus temperature graph, uh, we can see that pressure at point B and C is same and it is a straight line from there we can say that this is an isobaric process. So, for an isobaric process for an ideal gas volume versus temperature graph will be a straight line passing from origin. So, for an isobaric process if we apply that what is the work done dW that is equal to minus times of P external into dV if the pressure is constant pressure of the system and pressure of the surrounding will be same or external will be same. So, from here I can write that work done in process B to C is equal to minus times pressure during this process is equal to P2 and final volume is V1 and initial volume is V2. So, if we simplify further I can write that this is equal to P2 V2 minus V1 which seems to be correct. So, the first half of B option is correct. Now, uh, we are solving the second option and the second option is related to change in enthalpy and enthalpy is a state variable and they are discussing about A to C process. So, if we discuss about A to C process right here we are moving from A position to C position. So, when we are moving from A position to C position this may be path 1 or the other path will be will move from A to B and then will move from B to C. So, this is the second path. So, since enthalpy is a state variable the change in enthalpy in process A to C is equal to change in enthalpy in process A to B plus change in enthalpy in process B to C. Change in enthalpy in process A to B is equal to N C P delta T ideal gas participating in any process change in enthalpy is N C P delta T. Since A to B is an isothermal process delta T will be 0. So, this value will be 0. So, from here we can say that change in enthalpy in process A to C is equal to change in enthalpy in process B to C and B to C is isobaric process. For isobaric process we can write that change in enthalpy is equal to Q P. So, change in enthalpy in process B to C is equal to Q in process B to C. So, from here we can say that the second half seems to be correct because Q in process B to C is equal to delta H in process A to C. So, the first part is correct, second part is correct. So, from here we can say that B option is the correct option. Same way we can discuss uh, our C option and here uh, the first half of the C option they are uh, saying that change in enthalpy in process C to A is less than change in internal energy in process C to A. So, this is indicating that we have to write the relation between enthalpy and internal energy. So, we know that change in enthalpy or we can write that H is equal to U plus P V and change in enthalpy is equal to change in internal energy plus change in pressure volume energy. For an ideal gas P V is equal to N R T we can use that. So, now we are discussing about C to A process. We are moving from C position to A position we are moving in this direction. So, enthalpy change in process C to A. In process C to A volume is constant. So, I can write that change in enthalpy in process C to A is equal to change in internal energy in process C to A and since volume is constant. So, I can write this is V into delta P and C to A is an isochoric process. For isochoric process we can say that pressure is directly proportional to temperature and the temperature at C point is greater than at temperature at A point. So, from there I can say that pressure P2 from here we can say that P2 is greater than P1. So, now if I put the value we can write that delta H in process C to A minus del delta U in process C to A is equal to volume volume uh, during the process is V1 and change in pressure is P1 minus P2. Since P2 is greater than P1 we can say that right hand side is negative. So, this value is negative. So, from here we can say that change in enthalpy in process C to A is less than change in internal energy in process C to A. So, the first half of the second of the C option seems to be correct. Let us go for the second half. In the second half they are asking the relation between heat energy in process A to C. Okay. So, now we are moving from A to C. Our direction is changed. We are moving from A to C. 
So, when we are moving from A to C and they are asking that Q in A C is equal to delta U in process B C. So, let us try to solve this again we are using that internal energy is a state variable. So, when we are moving from process B to C we are moving from B to C. So, this is the first path I can go from B to C by moving from B to A and then A to C. So, this may be the second path. So, the enthalpy or internal energy change in process B to C can be written as internal energy change in process A to B plus internal energy change in process A to C. Internal energy change in process A to B will be 0 because ideal gas participating in any process internal energy change is NCV delta T I A to B or B to A process is an isothermal process. So, since it is isothermal process we can say that change in internal energy in process B to A is equal to 0. So, from here we can say that change in internal energy in process B to C is equal to change in internal energy in process A to C. A C is an isochoric process for isochoric process work done 0. So, first using first law of thermodynamics we can say that delta U in process A C is equal to Q in process A C. Second half of the C option seems to be correct because Q in process A C is equal to delta U in process B C. So, if the first half and second half is correct from here we can say that C option is the correct option. C is the correct option. Same way we can solve the D option. So, here in D option they are asking that Q in process B C is equal to enthalpy change in process A C. So, again from the data we will see the process A to C we are moving from A position to C position enthalpy is a state variable. So, either I can move from A to C along this straight line or I will move from A to B and then will move from B to C. So, since enthalpy is a state variable we can write that enthalpy change in process A to C is equal to enthalpy change in process A to B plus enthalpy change in process B to C. Again enthalpy change in process A to B will be 0 because ideal gas participating in any process enthalpy change in N is NCP delta T, delta T is 0 in AB process. So, we can say that delta H in process A to C is equal to delta H in process B to C and B to C is an isobaric process and we know that for isobaric process Q P is equal to delta H. So, Q in process B to C is equal to delta H in process A to C. So, the first half of D option seems to be correct. Let us move for the second half from uh, the second half they are asking the relation between enthalpy change in process C to A. Okay. So, now we have to discuss we are moving from C position to A position. They are asking enthalpy change and internal energy change relation for C to A process. So, we can write that delta H is equal to delta U plus delta times of pressure volume energy. Since C to A process is isochoric so, from here I can write that enthalpy change in process C to A, internal energy change in process C to A, volume is constant. So, delta P, delta H in process C to A minus delta U in process C to A is equal to volume into pressure change that is P1 minus volume is V1 and pressure change means final pressure minus initial pressure. So, P1 minus P2, we know that P2 is greater than P1. So, from here we can say right hand side is negative. So, if we simplify we can write that enthalpy change in process C to A should be less than internal energy change in process C to A. In the option they are saying enthalpy change in process C to A is greater than internal energy change in process C to A. So, this part seems to be wrong. So, from here we can say that D option is incorrect option. So, now if we go through the question there are four options and the first option was wrong because one part of the first option was wrong. So, first was wrong option then we got B option is correct, C option is correct and D option is wrong. So, the final answer is B and C. Hope this uh, information and the concept asked in this question is useful to you. If you like it please like and subscribe our channel. Thank you.